Hi, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll be showing you several of the improvements brought to write mode in Dorico 1.1. Creating music items in Dorico was always designed to be quick and intuitive. In Dorico 1.1, it is now much easier to use a mouse to create items that have a rhythmic duration, just by clicking and dragging out the item for the desired length in the score. The items will snap to rhythmic positions in your music. Music items other than notes, rests and articulations now have attachment lines showing clearly which rhythmic position they take effect at. It's now possible to use the mouse to drag items in right mode to new rhythmic positions, as I'm doing with this forte for example. You can see the item and its attachment line snapping to the next beat as I drag it across the bar. Now, if I switch to engrave mode, where moving items affects only the graphical position and not its musical position, you will notice that as I drag the forte to the right, the attachment line stays rooted to the same note, indicating that the dynamic will still take effect from that original position. If you'd rather not see the attachment lines, it is possible to disable them by opening the view menu and switching off attachment lines. For items where the duration handles are positioned at either end, allowing you to edit the starting position and rhythmic length independently. You can still move the entire item by clicking and dragging its main body rather than the handles. All of these types of operation are also now much easier to perform with the keyboard. Hold down Alt and use the left and right arrows to move items forwards and backwards. Items such as notes will move by the current value of the rhythmic grid. You can change that value by selecting a new note duration from the pop-up menu control, or by holding down Alt and pressing the square bracket keys. Other items snap intelligently to existing note positions, making it easy to attach dynamics, pedal lines and other items to the correct place in your music very quickly. This uses the same key command of Alt plus the left and right arrow keys, and you can also move these items by the value of the rhythmic grid by adding Control on Windows, and that's Command on Mac. So Alt plus the arrow keys moves items left and right, and Shift and Alt plus the arrow keys lengthens or shortens items that have a rhythmic duration. Again, Notes and Rests use the rhythmic grid to determine how much they are lengthened and shortened. For example, my rhythmic grid is currently set to the default of an eighth note. If I select this quarter note and press the key command Shift Alt Right Arrow, it extends the length of the note by an eighth note. This works with all items that have a rhythmic duration, and again, adding Control on Windows, and that's Command on Mac, will lengthen or shorten the items by the value of the rhythmic grid. There are new options that can be set in the editing section of General Preferences. Checking this checkbox allows multiple items to be created with the mouse, which can be useful when adding items across a passage, such as slurs, or perhaps marking a string part with bowing. When you have finished adding items, simply press the Escape key to clear the mouse pointer. The second new preference always just loads the mouse with an item you select in the palette, even if you have an active selection in the score. Previously, if you did have a selection, then anything you click in a palette would automatically be created at that rhythmic position. Setting this new preference means that you will not accidentally create music items by mistake where you do not want them. Working with voices in Dorico is now much more powerful. Firstly, we've made it possible to paste into new or existing voices. I have a passage of music here arranged in four-part harmony, and I would like to copy it to this two-stave choir reduction part. Copying the soprano and tenor parts are easy, as they both need to be in voice one of their respective staves. I'm holding down Alt as I click into the empty stave in order to paste a copy of my current selection. I need to paste this alto line into a down stem voice on this stave. So I copy it with Ctrl C, and that's Command C on Mac. Select the note or rest where I want to start pasting. Right click and choose Paste into Voice, New Down Stem Voice. I can then quickly do the same with the bass line, 
and Dorico handles it beautifully. It is also possible to change the voice of existing music. Sometimes you may find that you have entered music in an upstem voice and now decide that it should be in a downstem voice. Simply select the music, then right click and choose Voices, Change Voice, New Downstem Voice. Now you can continue to enter your music in the upstem voice. Another use of the Change Voice feature is to combine multiple voices into single voice chords to be played perhaps by a piano. You can also swap the contents of two voices. If you discover you've entered notes in voices the wrong way around, then simply select the affected music, right click and choose Voices, Swap Voice Contents. And as we're here, while it's still possible to set the starts voice and ends voice properties on notes in order to prevent unnecessary rests from showing, there's now a handy Remove Rests command in the Edit menu, which sets all the relevant properties as required. Dorico 1.1 introduces simple but very powerful filters as a way of narrowing down a selection to the specific items that you need to edit. The filter menu is accessible in the Edit menu in right mode, and at the top of the submenu are options to control how the filter works. You choose to either select or deselect only the category of item you subsequently choose from the menu. Let's just try this with notes and chords. I'm going to make a selection of these two systems. Then go to Edit, Filter, and with Select Only checked at the top, choose Notes and Chords from the menu. Now only the notes are left selected. This works well if you need to select, say, just the top note in each chord from a section in order to copy as a melody line for another instrument. Or returning to my four-part harmony example, we can easily take a choral reduction and filter by voice to paste the parts into their respective staves. Let's now set the filter to deselect only. I would like to copy this violin passage to the flute staff However, the flute doesn't require the bow markings. So I'll select the passage, then choose Edit, Filter, Playing Techniques. The bow markings are deselected, allowing me to copy and paste just the notes and articulations into the flute part. The final improvements I'm going to show you today concern dynamics. And Dorico 1.1 brings better way to manage dynamics both horizontally and vertically across your score. You can group dynamics on a staff to align them vertically, useful for situations where notes or other items protruding from the staff requires them to be moved from their default position to avoid a collision. Select the dynamics and then right click and choose Dynamics, Group Dynamics. You can tell that a dynamic is part of a group when you select it and see other dynamics are colored blue and showing attachment lines. This dynamic group now acts as a single item and can be moved, lengthened or shortened and the individual dynamics will respond and scale accordingly. Dorico is even able to handle editing of more complex chains of dynamics. Dorico helps out by automatically grouping dynamics that are created together or adjacent to other dynamics. In this example, I have a wind section with all instruments playing similar music and they will all share the same series of dynamic markings across the phrase. With new linked dynamics in Dorico 1.1, you can now copy dynamics to the same rhythmic position on other staves and a link will be formed between them. I'll copy just the dynamics from this top staff by clicking in the first bar, then shift clicking in the last bar to select everything in that staff, then choosing Edit, Filter, All Dynamics. I can then right click and choose to copy those dynamics or press Ctrl C, that's Command C on Mac. Then when I paste the dynamics at the same position on the other staves by right clicking and choosing Paste or by pressing Ctrl V, that's Command V on Mac, then these dynamics are now linked indicated again by the blue coloring. What this means is that I can now select one of the dynamics and replace it and that change will be replicated down through the linked items. This also works with gradual dynamics and edits made to properties filter across as well. It's also possible to link, 
and unlink dynamics by making a selection, right clicking and choosing dynamics, link or unlink. So with easier ways to create and edit items with the mouse or keyboard, expanded support for voices, simple but powerful filters and grouped and linked dynamics, we think you're going to find working in right mode much easier and more enjoyable. If you've found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button below to let me know that you've liked it. And subscribe to our Dorico channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.